Hello and welcome to our channel today. Yet again another new video coming in this weekend. I think it is going on well. And today we are going to talk about solar panels. And uh, in solar panels we are going to be looking at what you need to look at to know whether your solar panel is working well for you. We will begin by looking at uh, the typical specifications that are labeled on panels. And uh, when you look at the image on your screen right now, you can see there are around five parameters on our solar panel label. The first one is voltage open circuit. And the voltage open circuit is the voltage that you will experience when the panel is in the sun and no load is connected across the two wires, that is the positive wire and the negative wire. The second parameter is the short circuit current. The short circuit current is the current that uh, the panel will drive when a connection is made between the positive wire and the negative wire with theoretically no resistance. That means we have a perfect conductor between the positive wire and the negative wire of the solar panel. This creates a condition that we call a short circuit and which therefore makes the panel to drive a current through the path. The third parameter we are going to be looking at is the maximum power. A solar panel is rated according to the power it can deliver or the power it can harvest from the sun's uh, power, the sun's rays. The next parameter is the maximum power point voltage. This is the optimum voltage at which the panel will deliver power. This parameter shall be discussed in detail in a later video when we shall be having a, a solar charge controller which shall uh, help us to see how a solar panel can deliver the maximum power at the optimum voltage. The last parameter we are looking at today which again shall be discussed further in a later video, is the maximum power current. So when the panel is delivering its maximum power possible, we will have the voltage, which is the optimum voltage at which the panel works. And at that voltage, the panel therefore will deliver a current. This current is what we are calling the maximum power current. So here is our setup. We have uh, angled the panel the best we can. The sun, of course, it is a sunny day, blue skies, perfect for solar. Now we are here at the setup. We would like to measure the two parameters we say. We have the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. So I'll connect my red probe to my positive wire and uh, I wish I had 10 hands. So I'll connect the red probe to the positive wire and the negative with the black probe. And as you can see, our panel right now has a open circuit voltage of 21.8 volts. And now we are going to measure the short circuit current. So you notice on my multimeter, I've switched the red probe from the voltage side to the current side. My multimeter can measure a maximum of 10 amps. And so again, I'll connect my red probe to the positive wire and my black probe to the negative wire. And as you can see, we are recording a current of 2.2 amperes, 1.9. There are some shades coming on the panel. A uh, problem with filming solar in the evening. The sun is already going down. But uh, that is an example of how we can get the short circuit current of a panel. After looking at the parameters of our solar panel, just like we have seen, we have measured the voltage open circuit, 
the short circuit current. Using these two parameters, we calculate the power that was being delivered by the panel in those conditions by getting the product of the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. The product of these two parameters gives us the power of the panel. The result we get when multiplying these two parameters can be compared to the rated wattage of our panel and therefore indicate to us how well our panel is working. The difference between the indicated wattage on our panel and the figure we find by calculating from the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current is a good indicator of the efficiency of our panel as well as it could indicate the level of degradation that our panel has undergone. Even though your panel may be having a very low efficiency compared to the rated wattage on it, do not lose hope because the sun always shines and as long as it shines, there is energy for us to harvest. Remember, something is better than nothing. A little power can be the difference between life and death or save the day in difficult situations such as power cuts due to natural disasters and calamities. I hope you've learned something about measuring the efficiency of our solar panel. And if you're planning to have solar panels as part of your energy plan in your home or business, then this should be a resourceful video for you, which can help you in choosing panels so that you maximize the efficiency you get for your money. That is it for today, friends. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment, ask any questions in the comment section, share this video, subscribe, and we'll do something else in our next video.